Hi there ladies and gents, boys and girls, it's Frosty Jack here. I hope you're all well and enjoying yourselves. So we're back with the Viper Spectra XS1000 and the Cookies Gelato. And uh, yeah, we're finally up and running. Uh, so obviously for those of you who watched uh, last week's video, the unboxing slash first kind of review video, um, you'll know that I was sent the wrong plug basically for the, for the light. So. Um, I had to get in, uh, find an adapter quickly. Uh, managed to get one um, delivered here for for Tuesday. So, uh, so yeah, um, this light's been in here since then. I've got to say, the plant has been absolutely loving it. I say plant plants. Um, yeah, they're, they're they're looking fantastic. So, uh, before we actually get into the plants, I just want to want to do a couple of uh, heat readings. Um, so the light is currently running on about, if I can show you here, for 80% power. You can see that there. So we're on about 80% at the moment. Um, it feels quite cool to the touch. It's warm, but it's not It's not boiling hot or anything like that. Um, and the driver again, it's warm, but it's not stupidly hot. Um, so anyway, we will take a little measurement from the back here. So hopefully you guys can see this. So there we are, on the back of the heat sink is, yeah, 37, 36. That's all pretty steady, really. Quite comfortable with that. We'll go over this side just to check both sides. It's just one quantum ball, so it should be pretty even. Yeah, looks good. And the driver's running at about 40 degrees, 39, 40. So yeah, happy with that. We'll just check the leaf surface temperature as well. So the light is hanging at about 14, 14 inches from the, from the top of the canopy um, and uh, yeah 23 degrees directly under the light and that is the leaf surface temperature and uh, yeah so that's pretty good I mean it's cold it's cool but we are early morning um, it's still cool outside so uh, yeah that will pick up throughout the day uh, so yeah, let's get into the plants. Um, so uh, yeah, we got the cookish gelato in here. There's four of the cuts. Um, I was, uh, like I was saying last week, uh, for those of you who watched, I was saying that um, uh, I was going to top these girls off and just allow for them to push out a bit more and give a bit more veg time under this light. Um, but I decided against that simply because they were looking so healthy and it would be such a shame just to cut them off. So I decided to come in here and put some plant bends in and just bend over these tops a bit if you can see that and uh, yeah away she went or away they went um, so we've got a, quite a nice canopy forming now so we're going to give it about another week and then flip into flower um, I did come in here and cut the uh, cover crop down or cut it in half basically because it was getting a bit unruly and I, I needed a bit more airflow in there so uh, so yeah I did a little bit of that and a very very light pruning on the plants um, but I will go again this week and take off these lower growths because they're, they're not going to do anything an absolute waste down in there. Um, so yeah, got to say, everything's fantastic. Um, this plant is loving the light. It, it, it really loves this light and loves this whole setup, to be honest. Um, so for those of you who are wondering, um, I think I went over this last week, but I'll go over it again quickly this week. Um, this soil that I'm running in here, it's, it's kind of a living, uh, it's, it's, it's classed as a living soil. Um, and it's by Eco Thrive, and I think it's called Eco Thrive Eco Life Soil. I think that's the name of it. Um, the it will be in the description below. I'll put a link in there um, for, for where to get this soil and um, and the whole starter package if you wanted to get into living soil, um, which I do highly recommend. Um, also, this is a new addition from last week, um, besides cutting all the cover crop. Um, this is just to retain a bit more moisture uh, around the edges of the pot. Um, it's something I should have done a long time ago and it's been recommended to me by quite a few view viewers. And I just never got around to it. And uh, so yeah, this week I thought, bollocks, I need to get in here and do it. So so I have finally done it. Um, and it's just to create a more even even amount of moisture around the soil rather than having it more damp in the middle and, and the sides being dry. So yeah, hopefully that, that'll help out. But again, this, this whole living soil is still quite new to me. Um, 
this is the second run I've done uh, in this pot but yeah it all seems to be going really really well um, so in terms of feeding um, so I did amend the soil before these plants went in here but I am trying out uh, this what's called avocado tech so this is basically just an avocado with the top cut off take the the pip out or the seed um, scoop out the innards and um, mix your dry amendments up with the innards of the the avocado and kind of like mash it all up together and make a paste out of it and then stick it back in the uh, shell of the avocado and then stick it kind of like face down if you like uh, directly on the soil and the worms will get to it and start feeding away and uh, yeah keeping keeping everything or the, or the life cycle going basically I guess and, and the plants will be fed well feed your the soil will be fed if you like and, and in turn the plants will be able to get their food so uh, so yeah it's it's a new technique I haven't tried it before but I've, I know quite a few people have recommended it to me and also um, you know I've, I've heard about it quite a few times and from very reputable people reputable um, well-known growers if you like uh, so, so yeah why not give it a go um, so I'll just tell you quickly what I amended with so we're all all knowing what's happening um, so I gave uh, in this so it was a tablespoon and a half of the life cycle and kind of following um, their recommendation so I, I went for a top dress kind of idea um, and uh, yeah so it said one to two tablespoons so I went one and a half went in the middle there and also I did three um, three tablespoons of the malt barley powder um, which is full of um, enzymes and bits and pieces just just goodies and the worms absolutely love this stuff absolutely love it um, so yeah went for three tablespoons of that as well and that's all it is and the avocado just mushed up and uh, yeah I only put it in here uh, about a, an hour or so ago so it'll be interesting to see hopefully by next week we might lift it up and just see if there's worms feeding underneath it and uh, all those other bits and bobs um, I would highly recommend getting these as well if you're um, looking at uh, doing dry amendments and what have you uh, I picked these up the other day they were a couple of quid from Tesco um, but fantastic really really helps um, rather than trying to uh, weigh stuff out or what have you um, also yeah using a bit of microbial tea and that's really the only only thing that's going on in here so I use a bit of microbial tea every week and that's about it really it's really really simple really cheap to do the initial cost of the soil and the amendments uh, well the soil and, the, and bits and pieces so like the starter kit on indoor organics it's kind of a bit more pricey um, you know it's like 50 60 quid or something all together to start with but once you've got it you've got it if you know what I mean and, and in theory it should last years um, if done correctly if not a lifetime so uh, so yeah definitely definitely worth having a look into also the malt barley powder isn't from indoor organics it's from organics um, I think it's um, organics fertilizer or something like that I'll put the description I'll put it in the description anyway link link for those kind of bits and pieces because um, it's all handy but anyway there we are guys and girls, like I say, another week in veg and then we'll be flipping over into flour and all is really well with this fixture so far. Anyway, for now guys and girls, thank you ever so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll be back next week. Take care for now guys.